What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're sat there wondering why am I sitting like this and you can only see the side of my head, it's because I need you guys to brace yourselves for what I'm about to show you. You ready? <laughs> this happens in the game on Tuesday night. I apologise if I'm scaring anyone out there. It's a little bit graphic, isn't it? The perks of being a centre half, eh? Uh, one up for a header. Striker's gone to flick back as I've gone to head forwards and bosh. This was the result. Look at it. I've had so many of these though, guys. Like, I'm just so used to it now. Um, the main thing was, was that we managed to get three points away on the road at Bolton, which was a big, big, big win in our promotion push. And today, the match day vlog is finally back. This video today is gonna to be a massive one. We have got a tasty encounter on Saturday. We're playing Oxford United, who are our arch rivals, enemies. They're also pushing for promotion. It's a massive one for the fans. So I'm gonna show you guys what a local derby looks like. So we didn't get back from Bolton until around 5 a.m. Um, after the game on Tuesday night and kickoff is in just over 48 hours. So I'm kind of in that in-between phase where I want to get to work in today, but I've also got to make sure that I recover in time to go again Saturday because I've been out of action for a little while. My legs are a little bit achy today. They're a little bit heavy. So I've got to try and find the right balance of working hard, doing a little bit in the gym, but also making sure that I go into the game fresh come Saturday. So I'm actually outside one of my boys shops here, Men's Spire. In Beckford, oh. um, and get on this is so funny right so I've become quite pally with the two boys that open the shop and their mum actually owns Bolton Wanderers so you can imagine the banter we were having going back and forth um, in the lead up to Tuesday night's game but listen we've got the three points so who's got the bragging rights hang on I've got to do my hair then. the boy yes 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 the god what time what's going on um, Ram, what are you saying are you good Shmaila yes boy what are you saying? You ready to trim me up? I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. <laughs> Did you follow it on I follow? Yeah, yeah. Battered him, didn't we? Come on. Yeah, he, don't, he don't want to say we battered him. His boss is fucking <laughs> on the <bottom. laughs> What are we saying today then? Get on this barnet. We're going skin feet. Grow so bro. quickly, bro. Yeah, it has. Same as before? Same as before. Here's the boys. Here he is. Just with the six points, fellas. Just <laughs> <laughs> having a little debrief about the Bolton game, yeah. No way, Ty. I'll take you on. Done all right, mate. <laughs> Absolutely had you on toast for four minutes. Six points. Didn't concede a goal over the two games. Scored three. And, and yeah, my good. face is mangled. But I'll Thank take it. Good to get a little bit of food to the boys. Obviously, um, they couldn't really talk too much about the Bolton game because owning a football club and whatnot, I mean, getting that on camera and they'll probably end up incriminating themselves with their thoughts of, uh, of the game on Tuesday night. But it was nice to, uh, it was nice to claim the bragging rights after a, after a good result. If any of you lot fancy yourselves, as the next star of Bolton Wanderers. Hit up Ollie Britton or Toby Britton on Instagram and just DM them saying hashtag trial and um, I'm sure they'll sort you out. I'm wearing an eye patch to the gym because I look like a cross between Quasimodo and Frank. What's happening bro, you right? I look like a little cross between Quasimodo and Frankenstein so I don't want to scare any of the little kids you know. So obviously I've not trained much over the last three to four weeks really. Since we played AFC Women, which was my last match day vlog, um, this back spasm I had was crazy. Hit me out of nowhere, absolute nightmare. Couldn't do a thing for about three weeks, literally. Because it was my back, I couldn't do any cardio. I couldn't even lift a dumbbell, it was mad. I just was literally written off for just under a month. So I got chucked straight in the deep end against Bolton. Um, buzzing that I played now, but you know, before I was a little bit nervous, thought, you know what, am I going to get through this? Am I going to be fit enough? 
and I'll show you guys here. We've got the stats come through today. You can see my name here, Ryan Tafazoli. I'm in the I'm in the red, which means that I've actually covered a fair bit more distance than normal. I did 10.2k of running, 335 meters of high speed, and I actually did a fair bit of sprint distance in comparison to what I normally do in a game. So I'm gonna let you guys into my secret. How did I get through the game? And do you know what? I felt so good in the game. I felt fresh. Um, obviously, I'm focusing on recovery now to make sure I can go again Saturday, but I had one week, right? One week. And not, not even a week, I had five days to get fit. What I did, right, is do you remember the stamina program that I released for you guys um, a couple of months back? I went and did week one of my stamina program, combined the aerobic, anaerobic, and fartlek training sessions. And honestly, four sessions, that's all it took me. And I felt so, so good going into the Bolton game. I, did, I wasn't even blowing, which is crazy to think that I was out for so, so long. So if any of you guys are looking for a quick fix and you want to get fit quick, or you want a, a long-term stamina program that's going to get you super, super fit, um, I'll leave the link in the description below. Get on it, you'll love it. So, I can't do legs because it's a Thursday and I'll feel too domsy come Saturday. Um, I've done upper body pull this week, upper body push. So what I'm gonna do today is a little bit of core. I've been getting too many back problems for my liking lately and if any of you guys out there are suffering with back issues, I guarantee 80% of the time it will be down to a lack of core strength. So I'm gonna show you a really, really, really good core routine I'm gonna do today that you can implement into your routines and um, not only will it help with your back, but it will just help with your all round game. Balance, strength in jewels, um, your ability to twist and turn and move more efficiently. So you'll like this one. Here he is. Live and direct. <coughs> Joining me for a little core session or what? What your shorts as well. Ah, uh, what a guy you are. Yeah, I'm ready. You doing it? I need you with me today, bro. I need some motivation for this. Come on, It's our little area. What's the plan? This yeah. one comes here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legs off. Yeah. This arm in the air. Yeah. Keep, see how your lower back will come off? Yeah, yeah. Keep it flat against the, against the mat. Yeah. Keep it flat and then lower your leg ten times. And then lower this. Yeah. Oh. Ten times, right? Yeah. Three. Four. But don't let the lower back yeah, get off the mat. Alright, when you're doing this, if your abs aren't tense the whole time, it's because your lower back's coming off the ground and you're cheating. It's tough, but it's worth it. You feeling it? Yeah. Two sets down, one more to go on this. First one, right? Plank position. Yeah. One leg up at a time, but slow and controlled. Ten each side, yeah? That's horrendous, yeah. Then, straight into these, bro. Into what? Get rid of our love handles for this one. Go on. Swiss ball, squeeze. Right. Come on, squeeze. Three, come down. All right. Ten times each side. Yeah. Last one. Simple superset. Yeah, free, free. Swiss ball. Plank position again. Just rolling it out. Oh. Coming back in. Oh. Ten right. times. Alright, we got that. Yeah, three two. Three sets. happens when I have an ice bath the next day my recovery on whoop is through the roof and I want to show you guys something right so woke up on Tuesday morning before the Bolton game had an ice bath the day before BAM my recovery was 99% you don't get better than that it's a beautiful sight beautiful beautiful sight I woke up and I knew straight away I was feeling fresh as a daisy I thought, come on, it's game time, I'm ready to go. And obviously went on to have a pretty decent game, 1-2-0, kept the clean sheet and whatnot. We're just going to show you the importance of actually 
putting in time and energy into your recovery because ultimately you're just going to give yourself the best chance in training well and playing well. So guys, this little bad boy is actually being upgraded. Whoop have just released a new 4.0. It's been sent to me in the next few days. I cannot wait to see what that's got in store. So if you guys are not on it already, I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for you lot. Jump on it, it will change your games. You'll absolutely love it. And, uh, and let me know how you go with it. Tight, isn't it? Yeah, honey, tight. We'll get it there though. We'll sort it out. Oh, 
Richie, you just... Yeah, Jay, I can only say hi if I know you will talk to you around as well. So Jay, you know if I'm here with you and you're at the gym, and he's here, and George is white, you can feel the back of the side is there. No, no, but I can't say hi like that. Thank you. 